again, everybody. Today I've been working on the old uh, gasified Silverado again, and uh, getting it pretty close. Now I'll show you what all I've done, and uh, show you where we got to go from here. Okay, so first off, I got me another drill. Doesn't have much to do with the gasifier, but I had to have this to make the hole. What I've done here, I've got, that's the gas line going up to the front. And the black stuff around it, that is, just in case that may want to leak or something, I put this liquid tape around it. Maybe a little bit of extra security, that's kind of just rubber is all it is. And in all the seams, I put that stuff so that if there's any leaks, you know, that should fill them in. Give it the best shot anyway. But right here, this is going to be where I'm going to flare for now because I don't have uh, anything else hooked up to flare with. Because I'll have the valve up at the engine cut off, it'll just be drawing through the filter and out here. So... Anyway, you can see, it comes out of the filter, comes out of the filter, goes up, back down through here, and I put these Fern Co fittings in so that I can take uh, this off and take that cap off and I can clean the filter out and all that. Um, that way it's easily removable. All right, so that's going up to the front under the truck and up to the front. probably be able to see it coming up I had to heat the pipe to bend it right here that's why it's darker right here but I've got that going into this connector and uh, you may notice one thing I changed the original throttle junk is on this side now because I'm not going to use that what I'm going to do I'm going to put a servo on this instead of running a cable I'm going to put a servo on it and I'm going to control it with a knob because I'm going to be controlling this with a knob and that way everything can just be on a little control panel. I can have a switch for the fuel pump. I can have the control knobs for the wood gas and for the air so I can adjust it. And yes, I've only got one line ran up here. Um, yeah, I doubt that I'm going to have the power that I want. So I'm probably going to have to run another one. Uh, I'll probably... I might be able to bring it up on the other side over here. But I'm going to try it like this just to see what it does. I bet it will lack power. But, you know, I'm learning. <laughs> but, like I said, this is open. I'm going to use a uh, servo. This is open that's closed so I should be able to regulate the gas flow pretty easy just with the turn of a knob and that makes it a little easier to hook it up because I can run the wires around corners whatever I need to do I don't have to worry about a cable snaking through here and all that but yeah that has everything hooked up also, in the back of the truck, you can see right here I have an old gas can and I have the tar drain, the hopper drain, running down into this. And then when I want to empty it, all I got to do is take this or that loose, pull the gas can off of there, take it, empty it, and put it back. Now, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably run that through the floor to a tank under there that I can drain but for right now it's just going to be running into this just like that filter setup will likely change but for right now that's what I got okay so down inside way down in there I have a six inch restriction down there so and it's all the way on the bottom I don't know if I'm going to have to move that up or what but so far it's a six inch and we're going to see how that does with this truck. And back here, 
I have a load of wood drying. I'm trying to accelerate the drying a little bit. Okay, so you notice the hopper is now open. Uh, right over here, I have the three blowers that are going to be blowing or uh, sucking air through that. Now, that's not where they're going to live at, but uh, for right now, I'm wanting to try it out. I'm wanting to also make some smoke inside here and then reverse them with the lid closed and see where the smoke comes out, see if I got any leaks. And if I don't have any leaks, I might try a flare. But for right now, I'm gonna add a little bit of wood and I'm gonna try to light it and we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, so first off, I have a little bit of charcoal down in the bottom and I've got enough to come to halfway Halfway to the nozzle, it's not all the way, but I've got the bucket of the stuff I took out of the bottom of that barrel when I was cooking my wood the other day. So, this stuff is halfway char. Some of it is actually char. We're going to just add that. And try to get it. That ended up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay. Turn my blowers on, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the wires for the blowers on the battery terminal. I've got a little battery in here. So, I'm just going to stick the wires on there, and then we'll try to light it. hear the roaring I can see the smoke coming out y'all come here and I'll show you all right so looking down in here you can see there is a fire down in there put you down in there a little farther I can already hear the roar for the uh, for the blowers. They're a little noisy, but you see, we've got a lot of smoke coming out here. So we'll let that work for a little while. Now, keep in mind that is coming all the way, up, going all the way through here. It's going up through this pipe, which is not even warm yet. Uh, by the way, I did put some metal. I have uh, some insulation, some uh, some high temperature insulation that I can wrap around this. But for right now, I have my, there's two layers, actually three layers of metal around this. You can see there's another one sticking out there. It's mainly to keep the heat off of this PVC. So what we're gonna do? is we're going to close our lid down and let that work for a little bit. You can see it's burning pretty good down in there. Probably throw some of this. I, don't, I can't reach it. <laughs> I need a stick or something. I need to roll that down on top of it and maybe get me some more wood.
Okay, so that's starting to get a little warm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, it's starting to get hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna have to insulate that. Probably wrap some of that insulation around it so that it's protected. But all right, we got. That's getting warm, but not too bad. Well, that's warmer than what I thought it would be right here. Okay, so now, go down the side. A little warm, a little warm. Not bad at all, though. And that's not even moving. Right now, we're not moving, so, yeah, it's basically cool. Cooled off by the time it gets back here. This one should be exactly the same. Warm, warm. I mean, of course, this is pretty, pretty warm right here. Starting to get to where I can't touch it. This, no problem touching that. Here is about completely cool by the time it gets here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about my PVC. Of course, the rails are not completely heated up. Now, ordinarily, right now, you would be moving down the road, probably, so. Uh, or once the, once the temperature comes up, you'd be moving down the road, so these would be getting cooled anyway. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely warm. That should stand a lot of temperature. Very, very, yeah. Okay, we keep going. We should be able to fire it, I think. Let me try it again here. Yeah. Tried it a minute ago, it wouldn't do it, but let's see. I don't know if that little battery actually has enough power to do a very good job on this, but uh, we'll let it run for a little bit longer, see what it does. Okay, so now I have switched some leads on the battery and I am reverse blowing back into the gasifier. And you can see now it's got smoke coming out of the top. I don't know if you can see the lid right there. Sure can't see the smoke. There's a lot of water that's on that lid. I think my wood is too wet. So I need to dry my wood some more. I think it's too wet. That's getting warm now. now. Now that I'm reversing it, that's getting warmer. But before, this hopper was staying cool, even though this part was getting hot. Now, now this part is cooling down. <laughs> so it's doing the opposite. All right, so I'm gonna reverse, them, re reverse it back again. And uh, just keep doing that a few times. Okay, so it still, still looks a little smoky. I think that smoke should go away, but there's a fire. Oops. The wind's blowing it right toward me, but there's a fire. So we are making a flammable gas, but I still think that my wood is way too wet. I'm gonna have to dry my wood some more, but I mean, it's not really a problem. I can do that. But as you can see, we have flammable gas coming out. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a fire there. You can see how I gotta it is not a permanent solution, but all right. Now I did notice one thing on top here is still leaking out of here. And I'm gonna have to probably take some silicone and put around that. But pop the top of it up and it leaks out of the whole thing, but it well, now broke the seal. <laughs> it seals up around there. It's just right in here. There's a little hole there. I can see where it's at. I'll just stick a little bit more high temperature silicone, silicone there. And that should be good. Okay, it seems to be maintaining a pretty good fire now. I don't know if that's showing up at all on camera. Okay, one thing I'm a little curious about. I mean, we know it's going over these, but is it? Is anything going through these? Okay, now this stays warm warm 
it's warm all the way down to right here. It's cool there because it can't go nowhere. Warm, warm. So it is getting some cooling. Ow. <laughs> it is getting some cooling through these too. It's behind the cab, so I don't doubt, I don't think it will get much, but it is actually the gas is flowing, just like I thought it might. It's coming through here, and it is flowing through these as well as this. It feels like most of it is going through this one, of course. But yeah, it's going all the way down. It's still firing, by the way, and it's uh, cooler down here. Okay, it's firing. It's firing really good. Uh, problem is, it is flaring uh, like really clear, like a clear flame. Has a little bit of orange in it. I can see some blue right in here, actually. And there's a little bit of orange you can see, but you can't see the flame very well. But yeah, it's there. It's 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 flaming pretty good. Yep. Everything seems to be staying good and cool. All right, we have our flare going. Oh, you can kind of see it a little bit now. I can, the camera is not picking it up for some reason, but it is a pretty good plane coming up through there. Anyway, I guess that's gonna be about it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.